hey guys in the uh, uh, last session we were able to make the account and we also handle the cases of uh, if the user already exists and if the user is a new user okay we have created both the cases we have handled both the cases now what we'll do that uh, we'll add a, a username to you the to the profile so how can we do that the object of Change requests. Dot builder. Dot. Uh, dot. Uh, uh, inside this, uh, you can set two parameters. Uh, the one is your display name. The other one is your photo URI. So now we will be setting the photo uh, display name as only, and uh, to get to get the display username, to add the ID here. Uh, Add a ID user name I'll be writing username dot uh, text name dot get text or simply text dot to string and uh, finally we'll be calling a field okay and uh, what do you have to do with this profile update uh, object that uh, if you see on your on success listener get a uh, we get result of auth uh, it as auth result you can use it uh, which is a auth result dot user dot uh, update profile and up in inside update profile you can set the profile update object which you created So that's one thing. So, but next, uh, so uh, that is done. So now let's create a second activity, but which is a chart activity. Okay. Here. Yeah. Empty activity. Name it that activity. Okay. I'll do descending uh, from main activity to your chart activity. Okay, so you can use two methods here. Uh, either you can send uh, to the chart activity in, inside the on, on success listener, and you can you have to write that code inside your sign in on success listener as well. But I'll be using a different method here. Uh, there's a thing called uh, auth state listener. Firebase auth gives an auth state listener. And what is an auth state listener? So, uh, auth, auth state listener is a uh, interface which is invoked whenever uh, any changes are uh, are triggered uh, respect, in respect to, to your uh, authentication. Okay, uh, you can assume that whenever you click, uh, you can compare it uh, that whenever you click on a button, you get, uh, you set a set on click listener. Click listener and inside the click listener is triggered whenever you click on that button. Similarly, whenever any change is happen inside the auth, uh, this trigger is invoked. Auth dot auth auth get listener. And inside this, I can write. Uh, I have to add a check here as well. If If it dot user current user is not equal to null, then only I have to start the new activity. So what will happen whenever any auth changes? Say if the current user logs in, you don't have to worry about uh, sending him to the other activity. You um, this uh, this method will automatically send him. The uh, second activity. So 
can try to run this uh, and see will be directed to the second activity and so uh, that is done now let's add a logout uh, button inside our chat activity okay and uh, if you guys uh, are not following the uh, you, or if you have not watched the previous uh, two videos so you can uh, just click on the top right corner they, they, uh, and you can watch these videos okay and come back later to continue here and uh, if you have any doubts you can uh, drop, drop a comment in the comment section so yeah let's continue inside chat activity i have to now i have to write uh, i have to create a, op a menu so for that we have uh, something called on create option menu and inside this we have to write menu in data dot menu no, dot dot inflate at this we have to do pass two parameters the first one is my uh, menu layout r dot menu dot uh, start menu and the other one is my menu object which i am getting in the uh, function the menu file Inside this, I will be writing things, uh, not two things, but writing uh, one thing only inside that item uh, parameter. First is title, uh, title will be logout, and the ID that we can identify the click. Logout. So, logout and logout text. Done. Item selected. Add this. I can check if item dot id equal equal to r dot id dot logout. Logout. Then I can just first of all I have to make a fourth again. Copy this. Yeah, I have to write what dot sign out. Okay, you can also call finish it. That this activity destroys, and you can uh, you can get back to the uh, login activity, or you can also create an intent here and call the finish afterwards. It depends upon you. Okay, now let's try to run this app and uh, till the app is building uh, let's just discuss the layout of our chat activity so inside our chat activity there will be uh, three views uh, of total the first uh, the first one will be a list view we will be using a list view uh, because of the simplicity of the app you may use a recycler view but we will be using a uh, list view and we will be using the list adapter from the recycler uh, from the firebase itself we will not be creating a own adapter and uh, then we have a button in the uh, text uh, message and uh, we have a input text input layout from which we are getting the okay. let's just try to build this layout till it is building the layout So, so let's see what happens we are adding a username here first of all i'll be adding a username address will not i will not be using this email address because this email address is uh, already registered uh, in my auth uh, firebase auth and i don't remember the password 
Olha. So this is the thing. Uh, I will be automatically redirected to the other activity. Now if I click on the logout, I will be coming back to the this activity. You can also check if you this time uh, was hot start hot mail. to this activity and if i try to open this app, app again i'm directly moved to this activity instead of login activity okay so, uh, now let's uh, uh, quickly try to make the layout it's quite simple but let's width will be match parent that will be that will be wrap content not wrap content will be odp it here wait it will be one and it id will be id this okay. and this orientation will be vertical okay. and uh, uh, now i need to make a linear layout again for that input layout and button match parent and content Add this I'll section put out and, and click button. Its orientation will be uh, horizontal by default, but this put layout. What out the outline box and box. button red DP I guess that's it. Uh, that's the layout that we want to create. It, it, uh, it is correct, uh, built correctly or not? Okay. Oh.
just take a bit of time i guess just wait till then if you have any doubts or in, any question you can uh, ask in the chat or you can ask them in, uh, in the comments and also make sure that you subscribe to, subscribe to the channel and uh, turn on the notification so that uh, whenever we go a new webinar on this series get the notification yeah it should be fine i guess you can try that on your own and uh, let me know if there's some error you can see there's an empty list view okay so in this uh this lecture we were able to create the login logout uh, sorry we have already created login we were able to make the profile update and the logout functionality and the ui for our chat active okay so in the next lecture we'll uh, uh, make the make our chart model we set up our uh, chart rules the firebase database the dlm database and we'll also uh, see how to uh, update or you can say send some data from our uh, app to the database and uh, yes uh, we'll also see how to connect our app to the database okay so i guess that's it